Hello, welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have this Cummings X15. This is a 2018 engine and uh, this engine was having problems with uh, high crankcase pressure when um, the owner of the truck uh, was driving this truck. He said then the red light was coming to it was coming on the dashboard because of the uh, crankcase pressure. Um, so he decided to uh, open the engine because I told him there is no way we're gonna know what's the problem with this Cummins without opening the engine. So um, after we did open the engine, we have here all the components and also he bought the overhaul kit already. We have the overhaul kit um, because uh, we have a damaged uh, piston ring and that was causing the issue. A broken piston uh, ring. Uh, okay. And this, in, in this case, the piston ring that was broken was cylinder number three. See, it's divided in two pieces. Okay. Two pieces of the piston ring, and this was causing uh, the high crankcase pressure. Um. It's pretty hard to know without opening the engine what is the cause of the high crankcase pressure on a Cummins X15 but it's pretty common to know then they have problems with the piston rings and the cylinder liners. The cylinder liners they usually get you know like a little opening to the side the tolerance of the cylinder liner goes too uh, high so it cannot seal the pressure. It is enough for it to leak but not enough for the engine to die so it is just a very small amount but it's enough to bring a lot of pressure so in this case the reason why we had a lot of pressure is because of the piston ring that was completely destroyed uh, and it was just the top ring which is the compression ring see that one that is the compression ring the one that goes on top and the other two were okay uh, but uh, that was the reason why uh, we were having a, a high crank expression. I will say then, if you have a Cummins X15 and you are experiencing, uh, experiencing um, a high crank pressure problems and um, you don't know what to do, um, the first thing you have to do as a recommendation I have many videos talking about it, but I want to mention it once again is replace the crankcase filter If you have, have replaced the crankcase filter um, You have to uh, be, uh, Understand that the crankcase filter is the only thing that can create pressure besides the engine on these engines So if, if you already have replaced it and you're still getting the same amount of uh, problems the same code the pressure building up and you don't know what to do of course, you have an internal engine problem. Um, in s I, I, I don't know how to respond to that. Uh, that could be so sad for many of you because uh, in some cases you guys you just bought the truck and all of a sudden you have this problem. Um, and it's a very expensive problem to solve. Um, since the overhaul kit costs around $9,000, $10,000 with the oil pump. So uh, it is going to be a very expensive uh, repair so plus labor and whatever else so easily just replacing the baron uh, overhaul of this engine and uh, this person is going to spend sixteen thousand dollars easily and that's not counting the cylinder head and not counting the injectors and other things in this case we also have crunch damage uh, the, the crunch is in here it was oh yes yeah, right here so the crunch is damaged too which is bad and also some of the rocker arm rollers are bad which means that we have to replace the whole rocker arm um, so that is something that uh, is not part of the repair and that will increase the cost of this uh, repair um, but anyway uh, it is something to take in consideration if you already uh, if you have a Cummins X15 uh, you uh, trying to fix the crankcase pressure problem I mean pressure then whenever you come and 
and you open the old cab um, uh, you open the oil cab right here and you feel a little pressure even oil like spitting out uh, most likely the your engine is bad if you only have pressure probably is the crankcase filter but if you have oil spitting up plus pressure eh, yeah uh, you have to do a major repair to the engine which is gonna cost a lot of money but uh well i mean like uh, this is what i can mention right now about this problem um well I, I have no idea how uh, you guys are going to face this problem because this problem can come in different ways sometimes the problem starts then your engine starts eating oil and in some other occasions your uh, problem starts then you have crankcase pressure uh, so it will up be up to the truck then you drive in to determine what kind of problems you have but in essence whatever problem you have or either you are e the engine is eating oil or uh, the pressure is rising up you may have to do the whole engine overhaul regardless it is expensive regardless but uh well what to do right you have to fix the truck if you need to continue i mean if you want to continue working um i think the best the cheapest way to solve this problem is going after market going after market or um if you know that it is just one cylinder then it has a problem like this one like it is cylinder number four the one that has a broken uh, piston rim uh you might be able just to replace that but it doesn't guarantee anything the problem can come back or the problem cannot be solved at all because the other cylinders can be damaged already so it's always recommended to do the whole overhaul kit um, and that will save you so much money and on top of that will uh, make your truck last longer uh, but you know this is fancy regardless uh, as i say sixteen thousand dollars bare minimum and maybe twenty five maybe twenty five thousand with the cylinder head a lot of money i don't i don't i don't really look forward to see these kind of problems i think people just I don't know it's, it's bad but you know as i say if you are in this business you have to continue if uh we can find a way somehow to get the cheapest way to repair it but it, 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 we have to you know play around to see what we can do but there is always ways on how to make it cheaper at least 500 1000 whatever helps you know like uh, anything helps so as long as it's something that's going to be positive is welcome anyway uh this is all i have for you on this video uh with this coming x15 and this as i said before this is 2018 it's a kw uh roll off truck uh, well i mean like uh, if you have something like this well i mean like uh, it's so sad then it is the engine but we have to fix it to continue on working uh, if you have anything else to add to the video you can uh, uh uh, comment below uh, in the description of this video i have details on how com how to come to the shop and uh well i mean uh, like the video share and subscribe and thank you for watching my videos